allow the Versailles, the death of truth, to triumph. But we can at least proclaim... As this is a, a gathering of healthcare workers um, and of journalists, I want to, the last prayer I'll say is a prayer for healing. Um, because we know that tens of thousands of people have been killed, but tens and tens of thousands more, hundreds of thousands more have been maimed, have been injured, have lost limbs or life, have been traumatized. We know there are people in Gaza who are 20 years old, have never known a day of peace, have lived through war, after war, after war. Almost every two years, four years, we find ourselves in the same situation. To care for them. Adoption is something we need to consider seriously here. Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! And their right to live and die on their own land. We see it in how they play. On the flag in front of us, we have some of the names of the journalists who have been murdered by Israel. So on the 22nd of October, I was asked by the Palestinian Solidarity Committee to make a speech about the role of the media in Palestine. At that time, around 17 journalists were killed, and already that figure was too much. Currently, the figure stands at 105 journalists, and it's rising daily. USA is to dethrone the dollar by setting up structures for countries and groups of countries to trade. Humanitarian journalism, and this is what we've lived since 2015, not only telling the stories, not only talking. That this is not a religious struggle, it's a struggle about dispossession. It is not a faith against faith, it is a struggle of land occupation. It is not a struggle about Muslims against Jews and Jews defending themselves and Muslims as the aggressor. This is a struggle to free a people, the Palestinians, to give back their land and to ensure that justice prevails and peace is the foundation of that justice. And as a matter of law, uh, by claims of humanitarianism. Yes, these claims were invariably bogus. Vietnam, Kosovo, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya.